This is a forecast where power might matter for some. We'll talk about it. This 805 webcam is live, Pismo Beach, and as the camera swings around, occasionally it pushes into the ocean. You can't see much at all. And if you watched me yesterday, this is exactly what I was talking about. Where we get low clouds, they are going to be very low and thick, but they will not extend far inland. That is precisely what we're seeing at the moment. This is 805 webcams. Watch this. This will show you the clouds moving in this afternoon. Whoosh. There they go. That is incredible. So 805 webcams, great resource. You'll find that at KSBY.com. Links to all that. Take a look at my forecast here. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, the excessive heat warning is really Thursday and Friday where those temperatures in the interior could hit 105 to 110. Coastal valleys, places like San Luis, yesterday 90, nearly 90 today, 85 tomorrow, 100 on Thursday, 91 Friday. West facing beaches, you're looking at temperatures in the 70s Thursday with more high pressure, cleaning out some of the low clouds and the marine influence, 82, then back to 66 on Friday. South coast temperatures, mid 80s across the board. So again, we've cleaned out the low clouds in the south coast, but that low cloud rush for the central coast pushed into places like Morro Bay, but not far down the Los Osos Valley. Now, different situation in Guadalupe moving into Santa Maria. We are seeing a little better push there, but again, it's just the landscape there and how it works. So yeah, hot forecast, excessive heat warning. I talked about that outside of immediate beach communities and near coastal valleys, Santinez Valley, the interior and the mountains all covered with the advisory Wednesday through Friday. And it's because this big ridge of high pressure is right in here. The only offset we have as we get into the weekend is an area of upper low pressure that's going to drift over the area. Might be just enough to give us a little onshore flow, pull temperatures back a little bit for the weekend, but the more significant and change will come next week with this huge sweeping trough of low pressure. It backed up a little bit, looks like more so like middle of next week for a lot of the big cool down to arrive. Again, the low clouds are in some of the medium beach communities. They're low and dense, so mist drizzle possible, but again, doesn't extend far inland. And this is why Thursday looks so warm. You can see the offshore push that we get here will likely wipe out the clouds totally. So we're not going to see much in the way of a buffer against the heat. So just looking at this on a map, you can see how thin that cool air is with the interior at 100 degrees right now. And again, temperatures at beaches and near coastal valleys cooler while the interior is beginning to warm up and the winds are on shore. Nationally, generally quiet outside of some activity in Texas. It's hot, it's humid, and down in Florida, the same reasons here. You just energize the atmosphere with some heat and that's what you get. Okay, here you go. 103, Paso Robles 85, San Luis 80, Forest and Santa Maria. North Coast beaches, upper 60s, low 70s, Atascadero 97, Shandon 102, Napomo 80 degrees. Santinez Valley temperatures mid 90s or better. South Coast, a blend of 80s to mid 80s. And my seven day community cast, Again, Thursday and Friday, very hot. One other thing to note too, yeah, San Luis could see 100 on Thursday, but look at the overnight lows in Santa Barbara with some sundowners expected here down the road in the forecast. It's going to be a forecast where patience will be required. Back after this. Hey.